Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Week 4 Hello guys! Welcome to Sir VJ's Math Class Today, we're going to talk about Adding and subtracting decimals and mixed decimals through ten thousands without or with regrouping. But before that, let's have first a short drill. Give the missing number to make the statement true. Forty one plus blank is equal to ninety four. What is the answer? The answer is fifty three. Blank plus 44 equals 86. What is the answer? The answer is 42. 37 plus blank equals 97. What is the answer? The answer is 60. 72 minus blank equals 36. What is the answer? The answer is 36. Blank minus 41 is equals to 65. What is the answer? The answer is 106. Now, let's have first an exercise regarding our previous lesson. Find the sum or difference. Seventy-seven hundreds plus three and twelve hundreds. The answer three and eighty-nine hundreds. One and twenty-four hundreds plus twelve hundreds. The answer one and thirty-six hundreds. Next. 10 and 97 hundredths minus 9 and 2 hundredths. The answer, 1 and 95 hundredths. Next, 5 and 55 hundredths minus 42 hundredths. The answer, 5 and 13 hundredths. Last, 10 and 5 hundredths minus 3 and 28 hundredths. What is the answer? The answer is 6 and 77 hundredths. Now, let's have a problem to analyze and to solve. One day, precious Andrea's younger sister need four pieces of ribbons for her project. Linda gave her yellow, pink, blue and red ribbons with lengths 2 tenths meter, 48 hundredths meter, 3 tenths meter, and 15 hundredths meter respectively. The guided questions, number one, how long are the yellow and blue ribbons if you put together? Number two, when precious compare the red and pink ribbons, which is longer, by how much? As we further go on, we will answer these following questions one by one. What are the lengths of yellow and blue ribbons? 2 tenths meter plus 3 tenths meter equals N. With your strip of paper, 
fold it into 10 equal parts and label each segment. Just like this, the papers are divided into 10 parts. Color or shade the two transmitter or two parts with red crayon, then shade color the three tenths meter or three parts with blue crayon, just like in the illustration. Now, count the shaded portion, how many parts of the strip of paper are shaded or colored. So, two are red and three are blue. So, two tenths meter plus three tenths meter is equals to five tenths meter. What are the lengths of the red and pink ribbons? 4800 meter minus 1500 meter equals N. Find the difference using a 10 by 10 grid. Count the number of the squares in the grid. Shade Color the part of the grid that represents the length of the pink ribbon. Color it with pink or lighter shade of color. So this is how we color the 4800 meter in the grid. Take away 1500 meter from 4800 meter, which is the shaded part. Shaded it with red or any dark color. So this is how it look. 1500 meter are the red color. Now, count the remaining portion that is shaded with pink or lighter color. What part of the hole is that? So the answer here is 3300 meter. So let's keep moving. 234,000 plus 503,000. So 4 plus 3 equals 7. 3 plus 0 is 3, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 0 plus 0 is 0, and then affix the decimal point. So the answer here is 737 thousandths. Let's have another example. 3,234 ten thousandths plus 23 hundredths. 4 plus 0 is 4, 3 plus 0 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5, 0 plus 0 is 0, and then affix the decimal point. So the answer is 5,534 ten thousandths. Another one, 2,039 ten thousandths minus 237 ten thousandths. So 9 minus 7, that's 2. 3 minus 3, 3 minus 3 is 0. 0 minus 2, so cannot be, so you need to borrow 1 from 2, so 0 will become 10, so 10 minus 2, so that's 8, so 2 will become 1, so 1 minus 0 is 1, and then 0 minus 0 is 0, and then affix the decimal point, so the answer is 1802 ten thousands. Now, find the sum or difference. You may write your answer on your notebook.
Now, for number 1, the answer is 95 hundredths. For number 2, the answer is 5,501 ten thousands. Number 3, 2 and 5,645 ten thousands. Number 4, 595 ten thousands. And number 5, for number 5, 4,539 ten thousands. Another one, 8 and 2,648 ten thousands minus 2 and 1,435 ten thousands. The answer, 6 and 1,213 ten thousands. Let us summarize the lesson. To add decimals, number 1, arrange the addends in column by place values. Number 2, add as a whole numbers. Number 3, put the decimal point under the column of decimal points. To subtract decimals, number 1, arrange the minuend and the subtrahend in column by place values. Number 2, fill the empty place values with zeros. Number 3, subtract as whole numbers. And number 4, put the decimal point under the column of decimal points. Now, write the decimals in columns, then perform the indicated operation. You may write your answer again on your notebook. The answer for number 1 is 89 hundredths. Number 2, 2,304 ten thousandths. Number 3, 141 and 3,641 ten thousandths. Number 4, 2 and 758 ten thousandths. And number 5, 10 and 3,131 ten thousandths. Now, for your final activity, add or subtract the following. Write your answer on a piece of paper, have a screenshot, and send it by a private message for checking. I hope you learned something today. Goodbye! Salamat!